Hey guys, welcome back to Pygame Basics. So today we'll talk about how to create text onto the screen. And this may seem like it would be simple to do, but it's a little more complicated than it needs to be in Pygame. So we'll start with the template that we made in creating the display. And anytime we're gonna print anything onto the screen, we need to run display.fill. And this just fills the background with a color. So I'll just do white, which is 255, 255, 255. That's the RBG triplet. Now, because there's multiple steps to printing text, I think the best thing to do is just create a function up here called print text. And there are three steps to printing text onto the screen in Pygame. One is create a font object. And I'll say font equals pygame.font.sys font. And the first four arguments are the ones that we're going to worry about. The first being the name of the font. So I'll say times new roman second is the size of the font we want so i'm going to say 40. and then the third is going to be whether we want it to be bold or not so i'll say true and then the fourth is italic i'll say false second step is create a surface object and we can do that from the font object and by saying font.render now here's where we need to bring in uh some text so i can say this is my text as the first argument. The second argument is going to be whether we want the edges to be rounded on the text. And I'll just say true, it looks nice. And then the last argument is the color. So let's make it red. So RGB, so 255, zero, zero in a tuple. And the last thing we have to do is do what's called blit it onto the display with the blit method of display. So there's two arguments here that we're gonna worry about. First is the surface itself, which is what contains the text. And the second is the position we want to blit it to in the top left. So I'll just say 200, 200 for now. So let's run this function print text within our game loop. And I'm going to go ahead and run this. And we have some text printed onto the screen. Now, of course, you may be printing multiple pieces of text onto the screen. So my recommendation is whatever you're going to do differently within the pieces of text you're going to do in your code, use bring that in as arguments to this function. So for instance, if I say text here, instead of saying this is my text here, I'm just going to use the generic variable text. Then down here, I can say print hello and print goodbye. Now they're going to print over each other right now because we didn't change the position of where we're printing them. So that would be another argument you can bring into the print text function. So position, and then of course, replace the position within the function. And then I can print hello at 100, 100, and goodbye at 300, 300. And there you go. And maybe the last thing we want to do is change the font size for each piece of text that we're gonna write in our game. So font size. And now down here, we can have this font be 30 and this one be 50. So if I run this, now we have different size text as well. 